Welcome back to Hoi An. Today we are visiting the famous Banner Hills. We are right at the parking lot at the moment and planning to go up with the cable car to see the famous Golden Hand Bridge and the amusement park that belongs to it. So follow us around, we'll tell you everything you need to know from prices, when to get there, what's most important to see and if it's worth a visit. Come on! Parking here is relatively easy. We just drove one hour from Hoi An to this parking lot. The drive was very easy, very comfortable. The roads are in very good condition, surprisingly. And there are enough parking places for your motorbike and your car. You can also come with the bus, of course, and the day tour. There are quite a few people here already. Let's see how it is up on the mountain and how big it is. It's very helpful. There are all the information on your entrance ticket. So the restaurant opening time, the times or the timeline of the cable car. So let's enter the cable car. I'm excited. Not. <laughs> <laughs> Already afraid? Yes. Okay. So apparently there's not too much going on today because there are actually three different stations you can enter, but only one is open today. Oh, Good sign. Come in. Thank you. We just got out of the cable car and now we will be exploring Sun World first before we're heading over to the famous Golden Bridge. First impression? Way too crowded. So many group travelers, it's crazy. But I think the place is very beautiful. There's a lot to explore. The ticket is quite expensive. So let's see what we can do with it. But first, I'll get us two coffees so we can plan the trip according to the map. See you. Quite expensive up here. We paid 70,000 and 60,000 for a coconut and a coffee. But now we're trying to figure out where we're heading. We're actually here at the moment. We came from down there up here to the cable car station. And this is the main attraction theme park. And I think we have to take another cable car from this station to that station to visit the main attractions. So this is supposed to be the love garden. I don't see the love, but the garden is here. Okay. <laughs> Hello, I'm the love. <laughs> <laughs> this looks interesting. It's a maze garden. Shall we enter? We're going in circles. <laughs> <laughs> I've no idea what it is. But That's what mazes are all about. We're already in the center. We made it. We made it to the center of the maze and it's amazing! <laughs> ah, we're in the center again, okay. Getting out is harder than getting in. <laughs> the best part of Which direction? Here? Or here? Straight! Okay. <laughs> now we're taking the cable car to the other side of the theme park. From Bordeaux station to Louvre station. To where most of the attractions are located. Oh. oh, okay. This is nice. This is very nice. <laughs> and it's spacious, so there fit a lot of people. Yeah. This is supposed to be the French village. So Bana Hills, or actually Sun World, Bana Hills is a European themed amusement park. That's moody. Out again of the amusement park, we're having a Vietnamese cold coconut coffee. 
in a French village. They really constructed a whole village in this outdoor amusement park and it's very impressive. They've built up a church, they have a hotel. It really looks like a medieval old European town, but I can already hear there's a beer and food festival going on just across the road. So I think we need to check that out. So all in all, I like this part of the amusement park way better because it's way less crowded. This is as German as it gets. We are actually at the beer plaza. And it looks like a traditional German festival with all the attractions you have. They know what they're doing. They did a really great job here with reconstructing an European old town. They even have proper churches here you can enter. Now we're hungry and there are a lot of restaurants and cafes which you can choose from. But in our tickets there's a buffet lunch included. So we're gonna check it out now. The buffet restaurant is very busy and the food isn't of that good quality. I would rather recommend either going to the local restaurants or just bring some snacks with you. After our lunch we still have two things left to do. First an alpine coaster and of course the Golden Hand Bridge. So let's head to the first one, the alpine coaster. Now we made it to the Alpine Coaster, but there's quite a line waiting because there's just one coaster open today. Even though the ride is a little short, you have to do it, especially because it's included in the price. So let's make our way to the most famous attraction in the park, to the Golden Hand Bridge. See you there! We now made it to the Golden Bridge, the second time for today. <laughs> we finally made it to the Golden Bridge, which is a very famous site here in Sun World Vana Hills. It's actually supposed to be low season, but there are still so many travelers here. I can't imagine how it is in high season then. There are millions of people. So if we wait for everyone to make their pictures, we will never cross this bridge. No. So let's go to the end of the bridge because most people always stand at the start. I've seen a lot of sights with a lot of people, but this is ridiculous. <laughs> okay, travelers, beginner tip, always go a little bit further than the crowds, like always. They all stand at the beginning of the bridge and here it's quite okay. There are still a lot of people, but at least you can stand freely. Up on these hills, you can actually experience all four seasons in just one day. Sounds better than it is, so I hope it's not snowing today. <laughs> Second time for today, with way less people, but way more clouds. Now it's way less busy, but of course there is no view. Still, there are people. Uh-oh, paper. <laughs> this is how fast the weather here changes. Just five minutes ago, there was only fog, we couldn't even see the hands. And now it's clearing up, it's sunny, and until people realize we have the spot for ourselves. In the morning it was overcrowded, but now it's actually fine. Maybe don't come at the times when all of the group tours are starting to arrive. That will be 9 a.m. and 1 p.m. Just skip these hours and then it should be possible to get a nice picture here. Just as we talked about it, the crowds are streaming in again. <laughs> <laughs> but now let's go to the cable car again. And on our way down, we want to tell you if Barna Hills is worth a visit. I think it's overpriced. It's up on the mountain, you use a cable car to get here and if you get a beautiful view the whole day it makes sense but most of the time because you are on a mountain there will be fog and clouds and so you don't can really appreciate the view. I think to compare it with Europe for that price you can get much more. I watched this video here if you want to see more of Oyam, the city of lanterns from day to night. Thanks for watching this video and see you in the next one. Bye! Bye.